Hello everyone. On today's EWTN's Religious Catalog Program, we have for you a St. Francis of Assisi Tau Cross. We have for you a Guardian Angel Garden Stone. And we have this beautiful statue of St. Faustina. Only a few of the marvelous holy reminders we've got waiting for you today. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello everyone and welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog Program. I'm Janet Williams, absolutely delighted to be with you today because I have the privilege of presenting to you so many beautiful holy reminders along with Ryan Penny, who is joining us on set here today. Good morning and afternoon and evening to you, Ryan. Good morning, evening and afternoon <laughs> to you too, Janet. Always happy to be here with you. Well, thank you. It's lovely to be together again here. And you uh, look like you're sitting in a library and I look like I'm sitting in a place that is a collection of beautiful rosaries here well, today. October is just full of awesomeness right out of the gate, Jonette, because the very first week we have some incredible feast days. That's right. Starting off with St. Therese of Lisieux and uh, ending with St. Faustina and St. Francis of Assisi. It's just like power packed all in the first week. So we definitely have some great holy reminders for all those saints today. Yeah, absolutely right. And let's start with St. Therese of Lisieux since she starts off the month. She's also known as the Little Flower and she's one of the most beloved modern saints. Her little way has changed hearts over the past century. She said this, miss no single opportunity of making some small sacrifice, here by a smiling look, there by a kindly word, always doing the smallest right and doing it all for love. St. Therese's feast day is this week on October the 1st, and we want to start off showing you some lovely items that we have uh, that really do celebrate her feast day. First, we want to show you this beautiful St. Therese outdoor statue. This 24-inch St. Therese statue is painted with a natural white finish. It is designed for indoor or outdoor use, and it's also available in granite or in full color, and you can go out and take a look at the options that are there for you on our website at EWTNRC.com. We also have many more outdoor statues that are available for you there, and I just love them. I have them in my yard. Uh, it just makes me so happy. You can make a retreat you know, out of your property just by including some of these beautiful statues of the saints. We also have something else for you uh, that celebrates the wonder of St. Therese and yet ties it into another another popular devotion, and that is the devotion to the Divine Mercy. Here is the 33 Days to a Merciful Love, a do-it-yourself retreat in preparation for consecration to Divine Mercy. This is the sequel to the international sensation 33 Days to Morning Glory. Using the same 33-day preparation format, this book journeys with St. Therese of Lisieux and concludes with a consecration to Divine Mercy. So whether you want to deepen your love of Divine Mercy or have a devotion to St. Therese, this is an ideal book for you to have. We've got to always be aware of the need to move forward in our spiritual life lest we begin to fall backward. And this is a book that will help you to do exactly that. You know, it's become very uh, uh, a beautiful, beautiful way of remembering St. Therese underneath that other little titles of her is the little flower uh, to purchase these rose scented rosaries. Now, I have to tell you, uh, the the beautiful, beautiful fragrance that is emitted by these is really quite amazing. And you can smell them right here on our set. I and can smell it from here. I know, it's delightful. And so it reminds you very, very much that a rosary is something that uh, actually has a history all the way back in, in the very first days of the early martyrdoms when a, a crown of roses would be on the heads of many of the martyrs. And later, those that were waiting awaiting their own martyrdom would gather those together and say a prayer uh, on each one of the roses that were part of that crown. And so here, what a beautiful uh, connection this is to our past through these rose-scented uh, beads. St. Therese said, when I die, I will send down a shower of roses from the heavens. I will spend my heaven by doing good on earth. This fragrant rosary brings the little flower to mind with the smell of the roses on the beads, as we mentioned. And it comes in a case featuring an image of St. Therese of Lisieux. So I think they're lovely. Your hands smell really nice after you use them yeah. too, Ryan. So they're very, very lovely. I'm gonna just show you the little case that it comes in 
that features that image of St. Therese of Lisieux on the front. Uh, these are the kind of things, ladies, that you can put into your handbag and pull out whenever you have an opportunity to pray a few beads or the rosary itself. Now, we have been uh, sharing with you about these delightful little tiny saints clip-ons. These are so popular with adults and children alike. I know I have them for my grands. Uh, I just think they're adorable. And this one is of St. Therese of Lisieux. You know, the detailing on these little things <laughs> just absolutely amaze me. They've been made with such love and with such care. So here you can see St. Therese. She's holding a cross, and she's also holding a rose in her other hand. This whimsical little clip-on caricature has a sturdy swivel. Uh, lobster claw clasp, which you might be able to see there as I hold her up for you. And it's great for backpacks, zippers, and keychains. All kinds of uses for these little things. And I did share with you at one other time, Ryan, that little girls collect these and put them on little chain bracelets, you know, and make yeah. a collection of them. What a beautiful, if you will, a holy saintly way to remember that you've got these divine, uh, these holy intercessors for you in heaven. And take St. Therese with you wherever you go. That's right. That's what we want to do. And she'll go right with you on these little clip-ons. Uh, we want to show you this, too. This is absolutely stunning. Really, really stunning. It is a, an amethyst bohemian glass warrior rosary. This unique rosary consists of seven millimeter facet cut amethyst bohemian glass beads with aurora borealis and six specially designed shield medals for the Our Fathers, each featuring a female saint from different parts of the world and different periods of time. One of them is of Saint Philomena, Another one is of St. Therese of Lisieux. We have St. Joan of Arc here as well, and many other saints that help for us to remember that we are in a battle, and the rosary becomes for us, if you will, a tremendous spiritual weapon. The center also shows uh, this beautiful uh, medal of St. Joan of Arc's coat of arms on one side with the image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, on the other side, holding, of course, our Lord Jesus. And the two-tone crucifix is in the shape of a sword. The rosary comes with an explanatory pamphlet, and it's available for you at EWTN's religious catalog. I love this because they're all women saints. Mm -hmm. uh, this is especially good for ladies. This is an especially beautiful, uh, I think, um, rosary. The uh, aurora borealis on these amethyst bohemian glass cut beads is exquisite. and. Women love purple, Ryan. They love amethyst. Mm -hmm. They love pink. And how wonderful for a young girl or an adult woman. So we certainly do encourage you to get out there, take a look at this warrior rosary and all of the warrior rosaries that are available for you at EWTN's Religious Catalog. So we ended the month of September with a really important feast day for St. Jerome. And, you know, St. Jerome meticulously translated the Bible into Latin from the original Hebrew and Greek. And this version is known as the Latin Vulgate. The Douay Rheims Bible is a translation of the Latin Vulgate. And so we wanted to show you two copies of the Douay Rheims today. First is the standard size black leather Douay Rheims Bible that is also bound in genuine Moroccan leather. As Catholics, we should understand the Holy Scriptures because as St. Jerome said, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. Also, we wanted to show you this pocket-sized black leather Douay Rheims Bible. And this Bible is beautifully bound also in the genuine Moroccan leather. It includes 32 engravings, a family register, papal encyclicals, gilded pages, and ribbon markers, all packed into this pocket-sized beautiful Bible. I would like to mention on that that this is a convenient size for men and for women. And ladies, I, I just want to tell you, you know, to have a Bible with you that you can pull out and read when you're before the Blessed Sacrament or perhaps when you are awaiting a doctor's appointment or sitting in the car line at your children's school is a wonderful thing. And this will slip very comfortably into uh, most women's handbags. I'm a big handbag carrier. Sure <laughs> so it will. certainly fits very well into all of my purses, but it's something that I think you will treasure and that you will uh, benefit by uh, for many, many years. It's beautifully done. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's important to have a pocket-sized Bible, you know, to bring mm -hmm. it with you on your travels and everything. This is, this is a great one. And so speaking of, uh, you know, the renowned Renaissance Catholic humanist Erasmus once said that Whenever he had any money, he would buy books. 
<laughs> and that if he had any money left over, then he would buy food. And I'm not quite that hardcore, but I definitely <laughs> appreciate his sentiment, especially with some of the spiritual classics like this hardcover edition of Butler's Lives of the Saints. In four volumes, this edition includes the lives of 2,565 canonized saints, from the most eminent, like St. Jerome, to those who seem unlikely, like St. Christina the Astonishing. The volumes move through the liturgical year and encourage fascinated browsing. This is a terrific resource material for parish libraries, Catholic schools, homeschooling families, or for anyone who wants to learn more about the saints. And we need to know more about the saints, Johnette, because the Holy Mother Church, God gave them to us to show us that holiness is possible. Yes, and oftentimes, I know in my own life, I find the wisdom that I need, I find solutions to practical issues and problems, or the way to come to those mm -hmm. solutions through their own example and own witness. Yeah, beautifully written and beautifully bound in this, in this beautiful set. So you can get this at EWTNRC.com. Another really important feast day this week, Johnette, October 2nd, the Feast of the Guardian Angels, who cannot be appreciated enough. We wanted to show you this Guardian Angel Garden Stone statue. This stone features Psalm 91, verse 11, which says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. This would make a really beautiful addition to your front yard or garden. It's very lovely. The detailing is very nice on it. I like the gold. I love the wing. I love the beautiful expression on this uh, angel's or depiction of an angel's face looking towards the babe. Uh, we can picture ourselves in the arms of our angel who wants to minister to us and console us in times when we need it. And has been wanting to since the time when we were babes. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love how this statue, you know, shows the baby, you know, no one enters the kingdom of heaven except those who become like little children. So what a beautiful reminder in many ways this is. Mm -hmm. More about the guardian angels is this visor clip and auto rosary. <laughs> this guardian angel visor clip is inscribed with the motorist's prayer and comes with a single decade green glass bead auto rosary with the clasp. The prayer reads, Lord, grant me a steady hand and watchful eye that no man may be hurt when I pass by. Do you have the EWTN app on your mobile devices? Get your favorite EWTN shows and movies on demand by selecting the RC button to rent or purchase. You can purchase the profoundly important documentary, A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. With the 2020 elections fast approaching, you need to see this. Saul Alinsky was a 20th century American radical. Today he's best known as the father of community organizing. The goal of Alinsky organizing is to restructure society according to a, a statist model, a collectivist model, and to restructure the church to support that. Socialists strive to bring the overthrow of all civil society. And the last is like a gray wolf, neither black nor white, but gray in their cunning. All life is warfare. The end justifies almost any means. With a simple click on your PC or smartphone, Holy Reminders can be on their way to your doorstep. Now with free standard shipping on orders of $75 or more from the EWTN Religious Catalog website. Buy Catholic. Shop EWTNRC.com. Next, friends, we have something very sweet for you, and I really like this because it gives you great flexibility in how you use it. It is a clip-on guardian angel medal. Now, this rhodium-filled medal is perfect for cell phones, keychains, Bible cover zippers, jacket zippers, backpacks, and much more. And ladies, if you have a very thin strand, of pearl beads, you could clip this onto the pearl beads too. It's a very lovely way uh, in which you can uh, use an accessory 
that still speaks of the faith. It is a nice reminder of our constant companion, our guardian angel. It is very sweet, very darling, and I know that you're going to enjoy it. And I think it's beautiful to give to your children and your grandchildren, nieces and nephews as well. Our guardian angels are so very, very important to us, and we always want to be reminding ourselves of the fact that we have this heavenly helper who is right there at our side to assist us. And this book will help us to keep that in mind. Send Me Your Guardian Angel is the title of this book, and in it, Father Alessio Parente brings back the so-called old-fashioned idea that we are in the presence of this celestial companion, who, as Padre Pio said, does not abandon us even when we disgust God. Can you imagine such a thing? The church dogma on the angels already tells us this, but in this book, we find out just how true it is through the experiences of St. Pio and his spiritual children. It's a lovely book that will fill your heart with great confidence with regard to your heavenly helper who is there with you. I want to show you this too. This is lovely for a child's room. This is lovely for your room or anywhere in the house. It is the guardian angel holy water font. This white holy water font measures six inches high and is designed to hang on a wall. It is perfect for any room, but especially in your entryway or in your bedroom. Every single time we dip our fingers into holy water, we make the sign of the cross, and that is a renewal of our baptismal vows and also a great protection against the evil one and his minions who are always trying to create havoc in our lives and to tempt us away from the one who is the way, the truth, and the light. I know when I was a little girl, I drew great comfort at night, especially when shadows loomed large, that my guardian angel was with me. And what a beautiful little night light this is to captivate your children's imaginations and also bring them that peaceful consolation they may need from time to time. It is an angel at bridge nightlight. This nightlight depicts the classic image of the guardian angel on the bridge with children. Called a lithophane, from the Greek word meaning vision in stone, it is a porcelain engraving that is translucent and comes to life with light behind it. It is beautiful and will capture your attention and will also lull you to sleep. The nightlight measures five and a quarter inches high, suitable for any room in the house, but especially, I think, for your bedroom. Uh, we also have to remember that another feast day is coming up this week, and that is on October the 5th. It's the feast day of St. Faustina Kowalska. You know that Jesus appeared to her throughout the 1930s, telling her about his divine mercy. This is one of the most popular modern devotions in the church. And here, to celebrate this feast day and to help us to remember that God is our champion in all ways by sending us the mercy uh, of his love through his son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we have a beautiful medal that depicts this. On one side, uh, we show St. Faustina, and there you can see her. She is quite lovely. I'm always uh, just amazed at the detail with which these medals are made. And on the other side, we have the divine mercy image. I'm going to turn this around for you so that you can see that image as well. Look at how lovely this is. I just love the uh, diamond cutting on this that makes this very three-dimensional in its appearance. This sterling silver oval metal measures three quarters of an inch and comes with an 18 inch rhodium plated chain, a great length for most necklines. It features an image of St. Faustina on one side as I showed you and the Divine Mercy on the other. And it's available for you at EWTN's religious catalog. Don't forget uh, to tap those little keys to get you out to EWTNRC.com. Ryan, you have some beautiful, beautiful items here as well. I do. I was struck the first time I saw this statue because it's so stunning. Uh, because St. Faustina was a beautiful, beautiful soul. And she is so new. She's only in the 1930s. That's right. And so to have such a, a, a towering saint like her uh, to look up to is very inspiring. And I think this statue captures very beautifully what she was all about. This statue of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska is made of molded pulverized onyx. It's hand painted and measures 20 inches high. She is lovely and the expression on her face is so sweet. Uh, and it, what a sturdy uh, mm -hmm. composite it's made of there. Certainly, absolutely. And next I want to show you really where all this started was the diary of St. Faustina uh, that has captivated the world ever since. So today we wanted to show you this, this book. 
It's, it's the first item in the set with the DVD. And this Catholic classic, The Diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska, A Divine Mercy in My Soul, this book is really the source of the Divine Mercy devotion. It features a 24-page photo section, and this set also includes the Last Appeal DVD. In this program, you will see the amazing story of a peasant girl chosen by God to bring the message of Divine Mercy to mankind. Here is a clip from this terrific program. I waited for another year and worked hard to save enough money for my nun's habits. Then I finally joined Our Lady of Mercy Convent. The running time is 30 minutes, and know that you'll save 25% when you purchase these two St. Faustina favorites together. You know, it's amazing that right before the feast day of St. Faustina, Jeanette, we have another one of the most important feast days in the church, that of St. Francis of Assisi on October 4th. We wanted to show you this plaque with one of his most famous quotes. It says, a single sunbeam is enough to drive away many shadows. This rustic plaque measures approximately 19 inches by 3 inches and it includes an attached twine rope for hanging. Since it is cut from real lumber, it may have some small knots, cracks, or imperfections naturally found in the wood that can add character and authenticity. Another St. Francis holy reminder is this St. Francis Tau Cross. You know, St. Francis used the Tau Cross as a symbol for the crucifixion, and it's now one of the, the principal symbols among Franciscans. Now, this decorative cross features an image of St. Francis surrounded by birds. It measures eight and one quarter inches high. One of the most well-known quotes from St. Francis of Assisi is the Lord make me an instrument of thy peace which is featured on this St. Francis of Assisi stained class, which is a, has a peaceful depiction of St. Francis of Assisi surrounded by animals in the beauty of God's creation. And at the bottom, of course, it includes that famous prayer, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. The glass is trimmed in metal and includes a chain hanger and suction cup, which can be used for displaying this plaque in a window. It measures six inches by eight and one quarter inches high. St. Francis left a life of luxury to follow God. And many people probably thought that he was foolish to trade his opulent life for a life of earthly poverty. But as the Bible says in Colossians chapter three, verse two, set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. And St. Francis did just that. And all of us should be willing to follow Jesus even when it means that we must give everything up for him. And now here's a recap of the items that Johnette and I showed you today, as well as information about how to order. The first item that Johnette and I showed you today is the 24-inch white St. Teresa outdoor statue, which is item number 2440W for $80. The 33 Days to Merciful Love is item number 3456 for $15. St. Teresa's Rose Fragrance Rosary is item number TDT for $7. The St. Therese of the Chieux Tiny Saints Clip-On is item number H0283 for $5. The Amethyst Bohemian Glass Female Warrior's Rosary is item number WG087 for $90. The Black Leather Pocket Size Douay Rheims Bible is item number 5150 for $40. The standard size black leather Dewey Rames Bible is item number 5100K for $55. The hardcover four volume set of Butler's Lives of the Saints 
is item number 6902 for $160. The Guardian Angel Garden Stone is item number 61317 for $41. The Guardian Angel Visor Clip and Auto Rosary is item number AVGA for $18. The Clip on Guardian Angel Metal is item number CL151 for $9. The Send Me Your Guardian Angel book is item number 71013 for $12. The Guardian Angel Holy Water Font is item number MA401 for $15. The Angel at the Bridge Color Nightlight is item number NC39 for $32. The Divine Mercy and St. Faustina Dual Medal is item number S1206 for $36. The St. Faustina statue is item number OJ163 for $90. The Diary of St. Faustina book and DVD set is item number 3040K for $19.50. The single sunbeam St. Francis plaque is item number Q12 for $11.95. The St. Francis Tau Cross is item number 41420 for $24. And finally, the St. Francis of Assisi decorative glass is item number 55910 for $23. To order your holy reminders, please visit us at EWTNRC.com. It's safe, secure, and easy to use, available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We accept Visa, MasterCard Discover, and American Express. Or you can call us at 1-800-854-6316. The call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE that's F-R-E-E -E at checkout. Friends, it's been a great pleasure to be with you today to present to you all of these beautiful holy reminders. As always, Ryan, it's been great being with you and learning from you as you've taken us through the products that you were showing today. Friends, until we have the opportunity to be together again, may God richly bless you. Bye-bye now.